Hey guys, today we're going to be breaking down the incoming Ultra Super Janemba here. Um, again, I purposely do not look at uh, the details that they post during the reveal so that we can go in basically completely blind into the breakdown here. Uh, the one thing I did see is that he is blue, so I guess we can start with that. I have Janemba's teams pulled up here right away. We have Regen, Powerful Opponent, and Sagos from the movies. Now, you guys might be thinking, we've got enough blue characters. We don't need any more blue units, and I would agree with you. This is the one exception, though. Regen has been fiending for a good blue character for a long time. Yes, we've had Blue Zamasu for a long time. Blue Zamasu has held down the fort on Regen as a blue character, and he's done a very good job. Blue Zamasu is uh, pretty much out of the equation here. I don't think we really need uh, Blue Zamasu anymore. I think he has, you know, aged pretty well. I mean, he does his job. He stops the first combo per match, and that's basically the extent of what he's doing. Right? He's not really doing much besides that. Um, he's power corrupt. It's time to move on from Blue Zamasu. Um, and <clears throat> Ultra Kid Boo getting a good blue character on this team is really going to allow him to shine. And it's going to allow just the regen team in general to shine. Regen has some really strong characters now. We got Kid Boo. Uh, we got this Ultra Janemba here. We have Purple Cell. People clown on Orange Piccolo, but I think Orange Piccolo as a support interrupt character can be pretty decent here. So Regen's looking pretty solid here with this blue Janemba. Uh, powerful Opponent also, again, they do also kind of need a blue character. Uh, Sagos from the movies doesn't really have like a super mega strong blue. Beast Gohan is good, but he's not what he once was. So. I actually do like the blue uh, color decision here. Uh, on top of the fact that if you sort by rarity, we actually have one <laughs> blue ultra summonable character and it's Gogeta. So it's pretty funny that we come full circle and we get in uh, an ultra super Janemba here who also ends up being blue because, you know, obviously it's sort of a pairing up of the, the characters here. So I, I'm not really that uh, upset about him being blue. I think it's a fairly good choice. All right, let's take a look at what he is going to be doing here. Super Janemba joins the fight in ultra rarity with a counter type unique gauge, combining an amazing defense, debuffs towards enemies, plenty of ways to recover health, counters with an outstanding offense, special move and ultimate arts that apply bleed effects and have some high buffs to damage inflicted. This character is an absolute all-star. Here's a breakdown of Super Janemba's various effects. So remember, this is the first summonable ultra we're getting since Ultra Vegeta Blue. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to pull him up in a separate window here. Um, just so that we can compare like the base stats like this pretty much. And we'll see uh, how he holds up. So, okay. Counter type unique gauge. This unique gauge charges over time. And when it's full, Super Janemba will consume the entire thing to activate a counter against enemy strike arts. And most forward charging and other special move and special arts. So... The strike version of Gogeta Blue's Gauge is what it sounds like. You can also follow it up with a special move or ultimate arts of your own, which means that since you'll draw an ultimate arts card the first time the counter activates, okay, you can launch a guaranteed combo. Plus, Super Janemba will restore the Vanishing Gauge by 100% and increase arts card draw speed when the counter activates, so it's easy to switch back to the offensive. Already sounds very oppressive. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, we have a lot here. Uh, offensive abilities. Get an increased arts card draw speed and temporarily nullify your opponent's reduced key effects from the start of battle. You'll also recover key and randomly draw one new card when you have three of your cards when entering the battlefield. Plus, temporarily nullify enemy special actions that activate when changing cover every time Super Janemba uses a strike or blast arts. Huh? Plus, let me read that again. Plus, Temporarily nullify enemy special cover changes every time Super Janemba uses a strike or blast arts. I mean, there's got to be some kind of cooldown. He, 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 he doesn't just have permanent cover. No. There's got to be some kind of cooldown on that. Uh, you'll be able to, <laughs> you'll, you'll be able to, I hope, you'll be able to mount a ferocious offensive without needing to worry about key reduction or special cover changes. And that's not to mention that you have a 100% chance to inflict extreme bleed on hit with the special move and ultimate arts. Okay. Defensive ability. Super Janemba has a special cover change against blast arts. Okay. Uh, that, okay, so a special cover change against blast arts is pretty interesting because now Regen didn't really have access to that. I mean, Kid Boo's a strike cover change. Cell's a strike cover change. Piccolo Jr.'s, I mean, not really using Piccolo Jr., but Piccolo Jr.'s a strike cover change. Uh, you know, uh, or Orange Pickle is a strike cover change. So every single character on regen is a strike cover change. So him being blast is pretty good. Powerful opponent is mostly strike cover changes. I mean, I guess technically hit is both. 
And then movies. Gogeta's both. Broly. You don't really use Broly. Kid Goku's Strike. Piccolo's Strike. The Gammas are Blast. Okay, so th this actually does more so, I think, help regen than um, other teams because now they have access to both Blast and Strike cover changes. That's, that's good. Um, your allies' substitution counts will also shorten by 10 when the enemy uses an Ultimate Arts or Rising Rush. So very, very good pairing with Orange Piccolo. Uh, so you'll be able to switch to a character with an Endurance effect to withstand these attacks and stay in the fight. Plus, as the unique gauge starts at 100%, okay, it starts at 100%, you'll be able to make full use of Super Janemba's counter from the very beginning of battle. There are plenty of other powerful abilities and effects, so make sure to check them out below to unlock the full potential of Ultra Super Janemba. Of course, we know he's blue. Uh, he's on regen, powerful opponent movies. Those are his three teams. Let's start, of course, with the main ability here. So the main ability, reduce your enemy's sustained damage cut effects and cancel own attribute downgrades in normal conditions with this main ability. It's so powerful that it could even destroy all of your opponent's cards to limit their options. Okay. Uh, Ultra Super, oh, sorry, uh, Ultra Gojuta Blue does the same thing on main ability activation. He destroys the entire enemy's hand. It's not, you know, it's not that crazy. The way you're going to get value out of destroying your enemy's hand on main ability activation is when you're popping it in like mid range. Like if you want to try and catch your opponent in an action and let's say the opponent isn't doing anything. So you just end up popping your main ability and your opponent doesn't do anything. At least you're going to destroy their hand so you can like go for a tackle safely. That That's the value of that. But other than that, it's not really that crazy. Uh, draw the ultimate arts card Needle Light Shockwave next. Uh, heals by 30%, gets 50 key. Okay. Cancels own attribute downgrades in normal conditions. Um, and then he gives himself minus 30% enemy sustained damage cut effects to sell for 10 counts. And then destroys all of your enemy's cards. Okay, I mean, it's not that crazy of a main ability. It's kind of standard. Um, Z ability. So the 14 star Z ability, we have 5% to ultimate and awakened damage inflicted by tag regen. Okay, so it sounds like his ultra ability will probably just end up being a regen. That's the case. Uh, if he's giving the extra damage buff to regen there and then 42 percent to regen or movies no powerful opponent huh okay uh strike attack and blast defense he's a melee character right they don't even tell us but because his z ability is giving strike attack i'm assuming he's a melee character which is probably fine because that's what you would want him to be for regen right kid boo's melee uh orange piccolo's melee I guess you can kind of build Cell to be whatever you want, melee or blast. He can, he's he's one of the rare, like really well-designed character stat-wise who can go either way. So you can build him melee as well. So I mean, the team's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, Piccolo Jr. is uh, more blast. Piccolo Jr. is just a massive mistake. Uh, okay, and then the ultra ability, of course, is regen. Yeah, that makes sense. So they are kind of, even though this is a movie celebration, they are pushing more for regen, which I think is the correct decision here. All right, so uh, his strike card is a Blast Armor card. Okay, and then he has a 30% chance to inflict Extreme Bleed on hit. Blast card is inflicts enemy that should be downgraded plus 10% to damage received for 15 timer counts on hit. All righty, and then the blue card we have, what does it say? Inflict Extreme Bleed 100% of the time on hit and seal your enemy's special arts. So this is a melee based blue card. This is uh, obviously Blast Armor charging forward style card here. Deals massive slice damage, 40% to special move damage inflicted for five timer counts upon activation. That 40% is actually very high. What is, I'm actually kind of curious, what is Vegito blue? What is his blue card? 30%, yeah. So his, is fun, the funny thing about this Janemba's blue card is his, this Janemba's blue card is literally just an upgraded version of Vegito blue's blue card, is it not? Because Vegito blue does massive, gets 30%, and then he also does extreme bleed with blast armor. Janemba is getting 40%. Blast Armor and Extreme Bleed. And he's also doing other stuff too. Uh, why is the Falling Effects enemy on hit? Inflicts attribute downgrade plus 20% of damage received for 15 timer counts. Seals green cards for 10 counts. 10 counts. So if you seal, um, or I guess, so hold on. Uh, okay, so it's, yeah, so it's on hit. So it's only to the current enemy. So if you, if you hit like Vegito Blue, for example, with this blue card, you can safely attack him because you know that he can't counter you with his, with his green after this. That's interesting. Okay, I mean, this is a very strong blue card. Again, just a better version of Ultra Vegito Blue's blue card. Uh, then the green card. Okay, here we go. Again, I will mention this forever. Um, <laughs> every recent impactful, meta impactful character, they have ridiculously powerful green cards. So this Janemba better have a strong green card. 
With both key recovery and a card draw effect, the special arts is a breeze to incorporate into your combos. Okay, so it sounds like it's going to be a stop time green card. It'll even hinder your enemy by reducing their Dragon Balls and decreasing their key by 50. Uh, okay. This actually doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay, let's just go through here. So draw is a strike arts card next. Okay, 50 key, sure. 20% to strike damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. Applies that you would upgrade shorten sub count to, uh, by two to sell for 10 counts. Reduce enemy key by 50 and then reduce enemies Dragon Balls by one. That's strong. Activates three times. That is, this is strong. This, so right off the bat, this does not strike me as like a very broken green card. What's, what I'm confused about is this special arts is a breeze to incorporate into your combos. So they're telling you that this is a good tool to use like mid combo is what they're saying. But then how would this, It'll even hinder your enemy by reducing Dragon Balls and decreasing their key by 50. Like, why would that be a good tool to incorporate into your combo? You decrease their key by 50, you continue comboing them, and then by the time your combo is done, they'll have recovered their full amount of key back, right? That's a little weird, but this is strong. The Dragon Ball Destruction is strong. 50 key is good. A lot of times we see green cards, like, I think it's what? It's the, uh, the green Goku that just came out, this guy. His green card gives, like, 30 key or something. Like, it's really strange. Yeah, why does this only give 30 key? What, like it's it's almost like if you're standing in full range and you have a blue card in your hand and you pop this green card like this doesn't even give you enough key to use the blue like it's really dumb i have no clue why they only gave that 30 key so this gem getting 50 is definitely nice all right the ultimate this ultimate arts doesn't just uh, boast tremendous firepower it'll also nullify enemy endurance effects plus it even has a 100 percent chance to inflict all enemies with extreme bleed that is strong I actually think um I think a lot of people are going to be overlooking how strong this is. I mean, it's not like going to win you the game in a lot of times, but if you have like enemies that are pretty low on health, you can whittle them down from standby to one health via this. And that's going to really limit their ability to, to switch into those characters because there are a lot of times where they'll switch in like you, you, you or your opponent will switch into their standby character and then they'll get tap attacked. And so if they're at one HP, they'll die from that. So that actually does matter a lot. I think people are going to overlook this because this is not something that you would really think would be that crazy, but I think I, I'm telling you that's going to be impactful. This AOE extreme bleed effect here. Okay, so deal stake. They did give him supreme nice, give him uh, supreme slice damage, applies the following effects, self pawn activation, 20% ultimate damage inflicted, activates twice. Yeah, okay, so we know he can launch multiple ultimates. They mentioned that earlier. Um, nullifies enemies, restores health when it reaches zero effects for three timer counts. And then on hits, he reduces enemy key by 60 and then 100% chance to inflict all enemies with extreme bleed with blast armor. Sounds pretty good. Again, you're going to be, I mean, this is kind of similar to like Ultra Rose, where Ultra Rose sort of gives himself more ultimate damage the more times he uses the ultimate. Where is uh, his ultimate card here? Yeah, 20% ultimate damage inflicted. Of course, Rose can use it three times. Sounds like Janemba can use it twice, but it's the same concept, so. Um, that's, I would think of it as the same uh, way as like Rose's ultimate. All right, let's continue to the unique abilities. Um, restore health and key as well as temporarily nullify enemy special cover changes when you use strike and blast. Okay, we'll have to figure out what the hell that means. This will allow you to easily chain together combos without ever being stopped. Plus powerful offensive effects will activate in different scenarios. Uh, when battle starts, he increases arts card draw speed, decreases arts cost, and nullifies enemies reduced key effects to lead an overwhelming offensive right from the get-go. And then when this character enters the battlefield, he buffs both of his offense and defense by restoring key, randomly drawing one new card when you have three or fewer, fewer cards, and inflicting all enemies with various attribute downgrades. Okay. Plus, temporarily nullify unfavorable element factors if there's a defeated battle member. Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Which should allow you to turn the tide against an opponent no matter what element they are. All right, let's take a look here at the actual details. So, applies the following effects to self when battle starts. Charges own unique gauge by 100%, so we know that he's instantly ready to unleash the counter which we'll take a look at later on, I guess. So he gets 150% damage, 70% reduces damage received, and then he gets card draw speed, and then minus five to arts cost, gradually restores health each timer count, uh, and then nullify enemies reduce key effects for 60 counts. That is strong. I mean, I just talked about Blue Zamasu. Blue Zamasu's one job is to, is to end that first combo. Because of the because of his key reduction, 
This Janemba's not gonna care about that. You know who else has a really strong key reduction effect? Is this guy. <laughs> Imagine this guy switching in against Janemba. Like, this guy's worthless against Janemba. You can't stop him. Like, this, this Goku, his key reduction effect is crazy strong. Uh, this guy is probably still, I mean, we'll have to see what this Janemba is doing, but up until this Janemba came out, this Goku was easily the biggest counter to Ultra Vegeta Blue in the game. Main reason why is not just offensively, but also defensively, he's a, he was able to essentially hard counter Vegito's first combo uh, with the key reduction. Uh, we have, you know, like this, this green Goku reduces key on entry. Um, I think Piccolo Jr. reduces key on entry. Rosé, I think, reduces key on entry as well. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of characters that are disrupting the Gammas do, right? When the Gammas get hit, when they switch in for the first time, they reduce enemy key. Uh, I, I believe Piccolo does as well. So, I mean, there's a lot of characters that reduce key, and that's their form of disrupt. So, the fact that you can bypass that is actually really strong for the first 60 counts. I mean, that's, that's not a short period of time either. All right, let me just compare VB. So, VB is getting 150. He's getting extra strike damage. 70% card draw speed, minus five to arts cost. Okay, so I mean, they're doing similar things. VB is more offensively oriented, it looks like, uh, with extra card draw speed and then extra strike damage. Um, but Janemba has the healing here, and then he also has the uh, reduced key effects are nullified, which is really powerful. Uh, falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Rain only draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. Okay, so he's drawing an extra card there. Restores own key by 30, that's good. Inflicts all enemies that you downgrade. Uh, oh god. Plus 15% of damage received. 5 to strike and blast arts costs. Uh, 10 to special and special move arts costs. And then minus 30% to health restoration, each for 15 counts. <clears throat> so this one only activates once. Plus 10 to special and special move arts costs. Why? Why does that one only activate once? Yeah, I'm not too sure why. Um... Okay, I mean, these, these are strong effects, though. I'll take that. Also applies the following effects to self if there is a defeated battle member. He charges his own unique gauge by 100%. Uh, he draws another card, and then he gets unfavorable... No, sorry, nullifies unfavorable element factors for five counts. That Those are going to activate when he enters the battlefield here. Uh, okay. Applies the following effects to self every time this character uses a strike or blast arts card. Restores health by 3%. Okay, that's pretty good. Source key by 10. That's strong. 20% damage and 20% to damage inflicted for 10 counts. 20. That's a lot. Applies buff effect, nullifies enemy special actions, that's it when changing cover for 5 counts. Okay, activates once. Yeah, I was gonna say. Dude, this wording is so ridiculous. <laughs> Nullify enemy special cover change when you use strike and blast right? like that just sounds ridiculous i mean obviously it was gonna have a limitation in some way because this is that's that's still good though so you know what this actually kind of reminds me of is it reminds me of uh where are they these guys a little bit the goku side obviously a better version of this but i think these actually these guys have a 10 count one the goku side does where is the Find this. But Goku, yeah, here we go. Applies buff effect, nullifies enemy special action, has a way to change a cover for 10 counts when they use an arts card. But again, this is this is per tag switch. So that's the bad part about this character. Whereas with Janemba, it's gonna activate whenever he switches in and out of the battlefield. So that's pretty strong. I mean, you just chained a bunch of cards here for free, pretty much. Alright, unique ability number two. Super Janemba has a special cover change against blast arts attacks. Uh, and then the unique gauge here. This unique gauge will charge regardless of whether Super Dynamite is on the battlefield or on standby, so it's very similar to Kid Boo's gauge uh, and an Ultra Hit as well. Plus, when it's full, a counter will activate against your enemy's strike arts or forward charging and other special move and special arts. So I guess... I mean, we'll have to see if it counters ultimates as well. Activating this counter will also restore your vanishing gauge by 100%, nullify unfavorable element factors for damage sustained, increase arts card draw speed, and unleash other powerful... And that's it? That's all it's doing? Sounds that sounds terrible. <laughs> not to mention that the first time the counter activates, you'll draw an ultimate arts card. <laughs> sure, why not? Which you're guaranteed to land if you combo straight into it. It just sounds like an upgraded version of Gogeta's uh, thing. Because remember, Gogeta, uh, Gogeta Blue draws a blue card when his thing fills up, right? <clears throat> to counter with. Or to, or to chain into. Janemba's like, yeah, we're just drawing an ultimate. 
<laughs> we're, we're just gonna draw an ultimate instead. All right, so knock enemy back to long range. Recover chain just performed against blast arts, which of course is combo with the blue card. Uh, gradually charges own unique gauge over time while this character is in the battlefield or on standby. Again, we'll have to see how long it takes to fill up the unique gauge. Let me actually clean this up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna pull up you. I want to see the wording is the same. So hit. Um, gradually charges, and then Kid Boo is gradually charges too. Let's see. His is just charges, not gradually charges. Charges on unique gauge over time. I don't know what the difference is, but his so um, Janemba's has the same wording as Ultra Hit. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes to fill this up. Uh, while this character is in one of the following states, if own unique gauge is full, consumes entire unique gauge to counter enemy strike arts and most forward charging and other special move and special arts. Activates three times, which is the same amount of times that Ultra Gogeta Blue can use his, but you never see it activate three times. Uh, slide moving or standing still, sidestepping stuff to the right. Receiving, yeah, so it's the same, it's the same activation conditions. Um, as Ultra Gogeta Blue, it's just literally against, it's, it's this, it's like the, the meme, right? A lot of people were expecting Ultra Vegeta Blue to have this, but it's Janemba. The strike version of Ultra Vegeta Blue's gauge. Uh, and then you can combo it, of course, with the blue card and the ultimate card. Applies the following effect to self when counter activates. Uh, randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws the ultimate card Needle Light Shockwave next. Okay, so it is behaving similarly to Ultra Vegeta Blue because Ultra Vegeta Blue also destroys one of your own cards to draw the blue card. Uh, that means you're guaranteed to be able to chain this in, which is good. Uh, it heals 20%. That is a lot. Is that the same as Gogeta? Actually, let me pull up Gogeta just so I, I can like compare this fairly. Um, yeah, it is the same, 20%. But I guess he also gets an additional 10% for the first uh, one. Okay. Uh, 50 key, so he can use the ultimate right away, or I guess more than he needs. Gets Vanish back, and then he nullifies unfavorable element factors for damage sustained for 15 counts, and then he increases Arts card draw speed by one level. For, so he's going to have double card draw speed there. Uh, falling effects occur when enemy activates in Ultimate Arts, Awakened Arts, or Rising Rush while well, this character's in the battlefield. Uh, restores ally health by 10%. Okay, that's interesting. Shortens allies' sub count by 10 and then cancels enemies' attribute upgrades and buff, buff effects. Cancels enemies' attribute upgrades. That That's 17. That's Kid Buu too, isn't it? Kid Buu does that too, right? Yeah. But it's against Rising Rush only. So this... I guess... I guess this could be a little bit deceptive, though. So... Let me actually... I should pull up seven. This is this is more similar to seventeen than it is similar to Kid Buu. So against so seventeen. Where is this? I have to find this now. The reason, by the way, the reason why I'm pulling up all these old characters to show that they're similar effects is so that people understand how they function. The best way for you to understand how these mechanics function is to show examples of what we already have in the game. So here we go. The following effects occur every time the enemy uses a special move ultimate or awaken arts card. No, hold on, where's the... Here we go, no, it's this, it's this one. <clears throat> the following effects occur when an enemy activates a special move arts, ultimate arts, awakened arts, or rising rush while this character's in the battlefield. Cancels enemies, attribute upgrades, and buff effects activates three times. Yeah, so this is the, this is the same exact thing as Janemba. The only difference is that 17 is also activating this against blue cards, whereas Janemba's is only against ultimates, awakened arts, and rising rush. Now the main difference here is 17 has three charges of this, right? So even if 17 gets ulted and then maybe he gets blue carded, right? He's still going to be able to activate this against the Rising Rush. Whereas Janemba, I feel what's probably going to end up being the case for Janemba is people are going to be probably wanting to use this charge up before they rush Janemba, right? So what's probably going to happen is people are going to want to expunge this before they go for a rush. 
and maybe hit Janemba, or at least use an Ultimate Arts card against Janemba when he switched in, that will eliminate this because it's only once, activates once. And then the next time Janemba switched in, um, the opponent will be able to freely rush Janemba with like Ultra Vegito Blue or Ultra Gogeta Blue, right? With the Endurance Nullifying Rising Rush. Because at that point, this won't activate anymore, which means that you can't switch into an Endurance character and eat the rush, right? If this effect is up, and they have not used this one-time activation of the canceling buff effects here, what you could do is you can just switch into a character that's like, let's say you're using Blue Zamasu, right, next to this uh, Kid Buu, or not Kid Buu, next to this Janemba, and you're switched into Janemba, and the opponent's Ultra Vegito Blue rushes this Ultra Janemba, if this effect is up, you can go into Zamasu and live the rush because this Janemba will cancel the Endurance Nullifying effect that Vegito gains when he uses his Rush because he's going to cancel the buff effect here. But again, only once. So if Janemba gets smacked by an Ultimate Arts card while he's on the battlefield, this will go away. So that is very important to remember. I'm actually... This is interesting. I do like this. It'll, it actually makes you think a little bit more. Um, but overall, I think this character looks very, very strong. I think um, it's going to take a bit of getting used to to see how impactful his gauge is going to be. I mean, but we, we have experience with uh, the same style of unique gauge, right? With uh, Gojuta Blue existing, but it's going to be just against strikes instead of blast. So we will see how that plays out here. What you could do, <laughs> what you could do is you could pair this Janemba up with Gogeta Blue, right? And that would make for a pretty devastating combo where you have one character who's countering blasts and one character who's countering strikes, so the enemy can't really do much, right? <laughs> that's a pretty toxic pairing, but that's maybe that's what they intend for you to do here. Uh, but there we go. That is Ultra Super Janemba here. He looks pretty damn strong. Uh, he's he's not getting nearly as much damage as like Ultra Vegito Blue is getting from his unique abilities, but he is going to be stacking damage 20% per strike and blast card used that's strong so we'll see how good he ends up being the banner should be live tomorrow let me know down below what you guys think of this guy hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one